Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we got a fun one for you today. Somebody actually asked us if we could come up with a before after image toggle. And I haven't quite done that, but I've got an image here and I've got a button. When I click on the button, it's going to kind of morph from one image to the other or fade, slow fade. When you click it again, it's going to go back. So it achieves the same sort of thing. No plugins used for this today. Got to do a bit of coding, but I've written it all for you. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder here. What's enabled? Let's go down to where we want to work. And we'll delete what we got going on here. Let's delete that row. And we'll delete this row. Great. Well, let's add a new row. Let's go up just a little bit. I'm going to use two columns in mine. Obviously, you can use as many or as few as you want. In fact, let's just use one column so we've got a big image today. Inside that row with a single column, I'm going to put an image module, funnily enough. And this will work with any module you want, but we're fading from images here. So I'm going to hit the image module. Let's choose the image that we want. Now we'll start off with that young lady right there. Okay, and what about the image that we want to fade to after this one? Well, if you watch any of my hover effects, text to image fades or image to image fades, you'll know the way this works is the image we want to fade to is going to reside in the column behind it. So let's see what we got going on here. I'm going to go back into the row, the green tab there. I'm going to go into the column itself. I'm going to go into the background. There you've got color gradient. Background image, background video, image, background pattern, or background mask there. I'm going to use a simple image. And again, plop in whichever image you want to fade to. I'm going to use this particular one right here. Now you can't see it because it's directly behind this. So on all devices, this is going to shrink down and be responsive. It'll work. Okay. We want to add a little button now that we can use to trigger this. So I'm going to put my button in a different row. reason I'm putting it in a different row, if I put it in the same one, the image that's in the column there will spill out over. So I'm going to use new row. Again, I'm going to use single column. And I'm going to use a simple Divi button. There it is. Put whatever it, you want it to say there. Put a capital B on the end of there. Or if you wanted to, you could actually do it. You could put the before in there. Let's cut the after out. Hover up over the dark writing. This is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing within a module, you see some little icons come up. If there's a little arrow there, you can set a hover state. It's a desktop when the mouse is not on it. We can have it saying before. When you hover over it, we can change that to say after. Not sure that this will work on the front end. But that's entirely up to you if you just want to change it when they hover over it. I think for me, I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to have before and after like we had before. That'll work fine for me. Great. Well, I'm not going to put any link in there. Alignment wise, I'm going to pop my button in the middle there. And if you want to style your button, change the colors and everything like that, you can do that just down below here in button. Just switch on the custom styles here and you can change color, anything you want here. I don't want an icon on mine. If we roll over, we've got a little icon there. I'm going to take that away today by rolling down, show button icon, just going to switch that to no. So we just got a little button there that's changing color, color on hover. Great. Right, well, we've got our button. We've got our two images. Let's say this. How are we going to put this all together? Well, I've written some code for you. And I'll put a link down below the video where you can download this code or copy it at least. Because of the pointy brackets and, and JavaScript, I can't put this down below the video, unfortunately. So we've got to come up with a couple of class names 
for our images so we can tell the JavaScript to change it. So let's go into our image module here. I'm going to go over to advanced CSS IDs and classes. Okay, and for the image, we've got to give it an ID to tell it that we want it to change. So I'm just going to call my element to change and put that in the CSS ID. And again, this will all be down below for you to copy somewhere. But we also need to give it a class name because we're going to change the CSS class name with the button click. So if I, I give it CSS class name of original class. That way I've told the JavaScript to, if it's got the original class, we can switch it over to a changed class when we click the button. That probably doesn't make any sense. Let's put in the code so it does. Now we need to go into our button here too, and we need to give it an ID so we can tell it to click on the JavaScript. Again, I'm going to go over to advanced. I'm going to go down to CSS IDs and classes. I'm going to give this a CSS ID of change button. Great. Well, we've done all that and it may not make any sense to you. Here's where it's going to make sense. Now what I'm going to do is add a code module so we can actually add our code. So I'm going to go in there. I'm putting this right under the button. Code modules don't take up much real estate. Okay, well, let's copy my code that I've got over here. Control C. Control V to paste. Well, I've got it in there. We got some CSS up here. We gave our image the class of original class, which has got an opacity of one, which is fully visible. When we click on the button, it's going to change that class to change class that's got an opacity of zero, which means it will be invisible, so we'll see the image underneath. I've also given it a transition time of three seconds to do this. If you want yours to do it quicker, make that a smaller number. If you want to fade longer, make that a bigger number, and you'll have to do it in both class names there. And here's the actual script where it's getting the element by the ID of change button. And when it clicks, it's going to change the class. It's going to re remove original and it's going to change it to the change class, which is our opacity one here. Great. Well, if we've done everything correctly now, this should actually work for us. So let's save our changes here. Go down to the little purple button, save draft or publish if you're ready. Now let's exit this visual builder. And we'll roll on down. There's that image of that young lady. If we roll down a bit further, we got the button underneath. Let's put it all on screen. Button's going to change color when I roll over it, if we click on it. It's taking three seconds to morph or slow fade, if you like, into that next image. When we click again, it's going to fade back into this one. Now, that's not quite what I was asked to do. I think they were asking for one of those things where you slide it, it reveals the image underneath. But this is quite fun and could be useful in a lot of situations. Like I say, you can use any module you want for this. Doesn't have to be an image, but it's a great little feature to have on your site. Like I say, I'll have a link to somewhere that you can download this code. Just simply copy it, paste it, put it into your code module, select your images, add your button. And don't forget to add the class names and IDs to your images and buttons. And I'll put that in the explainer where you can download the code also. So there you go, guys. There's a before and after image on button click. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.